Did you know that a black inventor revolutionized modern transportation with the invention of the traffic signal? Prepare to be astounded by these insane innovations that have gone unnoticed throughout history. What additional wonders are there waiting to be discovered? Come celebrate creativity that defies time. Brown Marie Van Britten Did you know that a black nurse designed the first home security system? Let me introduce you to Marie Van Britten Brown. Despite working full-time as a nurse, she recognized the security concerns to her home and designed a method to notify her of strangers at her door and call relevant authorities as soon as feasible. Her first creation included peepholes, a camera, monitors, and a two-way microphone. The finishing touch was an alert button that, when touched, contacted the police. Her patent established the foundation for today's closed-circuit television system which is widely utilized for surveillance. Home security systems, push, button alarm triggers, crime prevention, and traffic monitoring. If that has caught you off guard, then consider this merely an introduction, my dear friend. Keep your attention fixed until the conclusion, as what is about to follow will truly astonish you. Boykin, Otis. Otis Boykin's greatest noteworthy contribution to science was probably the circuit changes he made to pacemakers, after his mother died of heart failure, a contribution that has saved countless lives since. However, this was only one development in a lengthy series of accomplishments. Boykin was the inventor of IBM computers, a burglar, proof cash register, chemical air filters, and an electronic resistor used in controlled missiles and other devices. Johnson Lonnie G. Did you ever have fun with water guns as a kid? Meet Lonnie Johnson, the man behind the world's most renowned water gun, the Super Soaker. Lonnie wasn't a toy maker. He was an aerospace engineer for NASA, with a record that included service in the US Air Force, work on the Galileo Jupiter mission and the Mars Observer project, and more than 40 patents. Yes, he is working on the Johnson Thermoelectric Energy Converter, JTEC, which transforms heat straight into electricity but it is his squirt gun that has brought us all the greatest joy. Drew, Charles. Someone in the United States requires blood every two seconds. That blood is now available thanks to Charles Drew. Drew was a physician, surgeon, and medical researcher who collaborated with a Red Cross team on pioneering blood transfusion findings. During World War II, he was instrumental in building the first large-scale blood banks and blood plasma programs. He also devised, and brace yourselves, this moniker is quite endearing, blood mobiles. These are the refrigerated trucks that safely transfer stockpiled blood to where it is most needed today. Drew was one of the most distinguished surgeons in his specialty, as well as one of the only African Americans at a time when blood donation was still segregated by race. Drew eventually resigned from his position with the American Red Cross due to the organization's insistence on following this policy. It took until 1950 for the Red Cross to ultimately acknowledge all blood as equal. Croak, Marion R. Marion Croak was honored into Women in Technology International's Hall of Fame in 2013, recognizing her extraordinary contributions in technology. Croak possesses around 135 patents, the majority of which are in the field of voice over internet protocol Voyat, with several in other fields. She is currently reviewing another 100 patents. Marion is now an SVP at a TETIUT, -E a mentor for women at a TET Labs, and a board member of the Holocaust, Genocide, and Human Rights Education Center. Jelobter, Lisa. Lisa Jelobter is responsible for any animated GIFs you've seen on the internet such as this fantastic film of a kitten being startled by an iguana. Jalobata was a key figure in the development of Shockwave, a technology that paved the way for web animation. She also had a significant role in the online video emergency, later serving on the senior management team at Hulu. Lisa was previously the interim head of digital for Bet Networks, where she oversaw technology, product, and business operations. Lisa can be found today at the White House in the United States Digital Service. She is now the U.S. Department of Education's Chief Digital Service Officer, Emmanuel Emeguali. Philip Emeguali was forced to leave out of school at the age of 14 
due to financial constraints. However, this did not prevent him from becoming one of the greatest computer pioneers of all time. In fact, he is frequently referred to as the Bill Gates of Africa. Emir Gwali began studying nature as an adult, mainly bees. The honeycomb architecture encouraged him to reconsider computer processing. In 1989, he put this notion into action, creating the world's first massively parallel processing supercomputer capable of performing 3.1 billion computations per second using 65,000 processors. Emir Gwali got the Gordon Bell Prize the same year for his use of the CHEM, two massively parallel computer. 